What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Cole and Jay here. And today we have a fun video in store for you guys today. As you guys know, Jay and I are active uh, fish tank enthusiasts. <laughs> is that the right word? Is that the right yes. way to say that? Fish tank enthusiasts. Fish tank enthusiasts. We love having fresh water aquarium set up in our house. We think that fish tanks make an awesome piece of furniture and that every house should have a fish tank in them. That being said, our big tank behind us has gotten kind of dirty. And we decided that today we are going to show you guys how we set up our freshwater fish tanks. But first we have to clean it out. We're going to drain the water out. We actually released the couple of fish that we had in there back into the lake. And uh, we're planning on catching some fish for you guys today to add to our fish tanks. So we're going to have new pet fish Yay! and we're going to have a new setup. It's going to be super awesome. We're going to change the whole scenery of the inside of the tank up for you guys. And uh, it's going to be fun. So let's get the drawing of the water out process underway. That's the worst part is getting all the water out because you got to use this little this little siphon deal here. All right, we have we just had this big old siphon, and uh, every time I you have to suck the water out. I'll, every time I get water in my mouth, and it's just it's kind of gross because you know the, <laughs> all the fish have been living in there for a while, and hopefully we can avoid that today. And also, Jay's got a scrubber. Show him that scrubber, Jay. Jay's got a scrubber <laughs> uh, on the inside of the tank. We'll show. We'll turn this around and show you guys. The inside of the tank is kind of dirty, so she's gonna scrub all the all the bad juju off the side of the <laughs> off the tank, so I can suck it all out. And we're gonna dump all the water into this little this little cooler right here. For those of you who don't know, this is our fish tank, our main big fish tank. This is a 75 gallon tank, and on the back of it we have two 45 gallon filters. So we're pumping 90 gallons of water, which is good because it's you know just getting rid of the excess waste really well. And then you can see some of the decor in there. We have some plants. See a tree, it's kind of just kind of gone downhill the last few months. And uh, we're just gonna get it all revamped and wonderful and delicious for you guys. I just turned the filters off just to kind of quiet things down. I'm gonna remove all these plants from this cooler and then I'm gonna set them outside, just let them kind of dry out. And then we'll wash them off. And then once we get everything out, we'll scrub everything off the side of the of the walls and then we'll siphon all the nasty stuff out of the bottom of the rocks and then uh, maybe pull the rocks out. I'm not sure about that yet. We'll just see how well we get them cleaned up. But right now let's get all the plants out, get this stick out. We need to get a new cool stick for these fish to hang out in. Oh wow. What? <laughs> we still have a crawfish what? here. Check it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey buddy. Dude, it's awesome. He's about to pinch me. He's about to pinch me. Yo, say hi to Mr. Crawfish, everybody. I forgot that you were in there. That's okay. He said, I was in there chilling. I was in there just living and thriving all by myself. Yeah, I'm going to put... I don't want to get rid of Mr. Crawfish. I like this guy. So I'm going to put him over in that little tank over here we got. We're going to fill this tank up with some water in a little bit. Put him in there for now. And we'll put... Oh, leave him alone. Be nice. He'll bite you. Get after it, Jay. Okay, we got everything out of the tank. We got all the plants, all of the structures, and we got the, all the glass off the top, the filters cleaned out, and uh, we got the light off, and we scrubbed the sides of the wall, which they look pretty good. We're gonna get the rest of that stuff off with a towel, I think, once we get the water out. But now it's time for us to start siphoning out all this water. Here's our siphon. And basically all you do, you just stick it down in here, okay? And you get your tube, if you don't know how to siphon, you suck some water out until you get enough, and then it starts flowing out the other end into the cooler. Just hopefully, we don't get any fish tank water in my mouth, because I might throw up. Probably won't throw up, but that'd be, be pretty funny if I did. <laughs> I got a little in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but look at all that stuff that's coming out of the bottom, how gross that is. We're gonna clean all these rocks. My goal is I don't wanna take the rocks out 
and wash them off. I'm just trying to get all the dirt off of them this way. A little bit more than halfway through. Update, the tank is now fully empty and we decided to get all the rocks out just because they were still kind of dirty. And we want to make sure that we could get them all cleaned off. So we put them in this bucket. We have this little drain, little sifter thing here. And uh, we're gonna clean those rocks off, get them back in there. And then we're gonna fill the tank up. That was a long process. That took like yeah, 45 minutes. That was long. Or an hour, I don't know how long that took. I think it was an hour. Dead gum, okay. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next step, clean the rocks off. Also, we've decided to carry this big tank outside and spray it out really good because we've already put so much work into it already. We just, we just want it to be super duper clean. I ain't even wet. <laughs> I got the rocks been stopped pretty good, I think. Whatever leftover particles might be left on the rocks, the filters will just suck up once we get the water rolling in there pretty good. Got the hose. I feel like a firefighter. Now I gotta do is turn it on. Jake, can you hold on to that while I turn the hose on? Uh, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Got that? Got it. Got okay, it. Right. Three, two, one. Okay, now is the time. We got all the water in there. We got our filters back on, and we're about to start doing some interior decorating. Okay, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We took that big stick out of there and we're gonna use some rocks and build some sort of like a rocky structure and then just put these plants all around in there. Not really sure what I have in mind, but we're just gonna see what happens and just let the creativity take over. I'm gonna start with this big rock. Ooh, that water's cold, man. Ooh, that water's gonna warm up a little bit before we put a fish in there. There's our finished product. We might add on to it here in a little bit when we get some more things to put in the tank, but with our resources we had at hand, it looks pretty good. We used that stick again. I wouldn't think we were, but I like <laughs> the stick. We put all the same plants in there. We got like a little double hut fortress of rocks. It looks cool. Only thing missing is fish. It looks homey. It looks homey. Some fish need to go in there, don't we they, We need to get some homies. Some homies for the homie? Some, some homies for the homie. <laughs> this is the fun part is going to catch the fish to put in the tank so i'm ready are you ready i'm ready but we got oh one we more got thing. one more step one more thing this we is a very do. important step before we add any fish to our aquarium we have to dechlorinate the water we put in there this is some pretty good stuff it says super strength and i think that it what's the lid say one milliliter one milliliter equals 15 us gallons so we need five milliliters of this stuff start conditioning the water there's a little measuring thing in here we got the tap water conditioner inside the tank and we're gonna let these big filters filter pumps uh, just kind of pump the water pump the water conditioner through the tank and uh, we're gonna let this run for a couple hours but in the meantime while this tank is getting while the water inside the tank is getting conditioned Jay and I are gonna head out to the lake we might go to the creek then we're going to the creek we're gonna go over to the creek and we're going to try to catch some little sunfish to put inside of the tank. How fun is that? So let's grab some fishing gear and we'll head over to the creek and start catching some fish and we'll bring them home and put them in the fish tank for you guys. Here we are, we made it to the creek. Jessica's getting her line in the water, trying to make some magic happen. It shouldn't take very long for us to start catching some fish. We know there's a bunch of brim in here. 
All we gotta do is catch them, right, Jay? That's all we gotta do. Just catch a couple of brim. <laughs> all we need is five. Preferably some males and some females so we can have an even mix of fish. So, get to catching. Come on. I'm working on it. Catch him. Dang. I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, get back out there. As far as the gear Jay and I are using today, we're both using these favorite white bird spinning rods. Both medium light actions. They kind of fish like ultralights. And uh, it's fun for finding these little brim. And Jay's in the water. Fishing by this little stump. It's windy. It is windy out here. Woo! Sweet. <laughs> There's our first fish. That's a good size one. I wanted a couple of bigger size bluegill. So there it is. There's the fish we're after today. Nice little medium to small sized bluegill. We put him in the bucket. Just caught him. Fishing with this little piece of worm on a jig head. I don't usually use a jig head when I'm fishing for bluegill, but I did it today and it worked out perfectly. <laughs> oh, did he come off? Oh, he came off. No, the stick got in my way. Dang, Dang stick. Dang, I gotta scoot over. That would have been another good one. It was a little bit smaller. I'm gonna scoot over. Got him. Perfect fish. Yes. Awesome. Here's our second fish for our tank. Perfect size. Awesome. Look how pretty they are right now. They're kind of pale because the water's cold and kind of muddy. But just look at those purples and yellows. And those colors will change once they get into our tank. Just an awesome, awesome little fish. We got two in the bucket. All we need is three more. Got him? Got him. Biggin'. Oh, I'm telling you, this is a biggin'. Nice. That's a nice one there. Yeah. Cha-ching. Nice. So I'm gonna name three. this one. Okay, we'll name it. I'm gonna name this one after Granny. Okay. This is Carol. Carol. <laughs> Carol's the biggest too. So we will know which one's which. Oh yeah, Aww. perfect. A little one. We needed a little one. We did. Perfect little fish. Okay, go toss him in the bucket. Put him in the bucket. Woo! There he is, there's number five. We got our fish family, so we are out. Let's go. Jay and I are getting super excited now because we're finally able to start putting our fish we caught into the fish tank. We've been letting the tank run for like four hours now. We think that it's ready to go. So without further ado, let's introduce these fish to their new home. Jessica's gonna put Miss Carol in there first, I think. Miss Carol in there first. <laughs> okay. She could pick it out. Miss Carol is the biggest. Oh, wow. She's so beautiful. Wow, look how pretty that fish is now. Beautiful. That's Carol. Oh, gosh. oh sorry, Carol. Carol. Sorry, Carol. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, I got Carol. Beautiful female bluegill going into the tank. Welcome to your new home, Carol. Woo! She's like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so the fish are gonna probably kind of be freaking out for the first few moments, but they'll they'll adjust. Sweet, okay, there's Crazy Carol. <laughs> it's not Miss Carol anymore, it's Crazy Carol. <laughs> crazy Carol. Fish number two. You wanna put some in? Okay. I caught two, Cole caught three, so you can put in your three. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> And Carol's kind of a slab. <laughs> Look at her, she looks kind of big in there. <laughs> we'll see if she's too big, I think she's okay. Some mighty cold creek water. Come here, little dude. Little dude. Little dude. That's a little dude. I'm just gonna put you in. There you, there you go, little dude.
Number four. The final one. Okay. Whew. Awesome. Okay, we got our five fish in the tank. And they're just gonna swim around for a little bit and uh, get acclimated to the water. Awesome. Well, that's awesome. We got all of our five new bluegill inside of the tank and uh, they're doing okay. It looks like they're swimming around, having fun. And we're just gonna keep an eye on them as they're adjusting to the water and um, just for the next several days and we will keep you guys posted on the well-being of our sunfish and the great thing about having these freshwater native fish is that if something's not going right or if you have too many in there and one's being aggressive you can just simply get that fish out there and let it go unlike a fish you would buy at the pet store mm -hmm. so that's why we yeah. always like to say that we like to keep these freshwater native fishes so that's gonna be it for today's video we hope you guys enjoyed our entire like <laughs> transformation of our aquarium today and we hope you enjoyed watching us catch these fish for our tank if you guys have any suggestions on what sorts of fish you would like to see us catch and put inside of our tank leave those suggestions down in the comments section below and also if you enjoyed today's video hit the like button for us and if you haven't done so already subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with all of our future adventures on the channel we're Colin J and we will see you on the next video